Suleiman makes such statements to you, his only brother. That is his cup of tea. I have made my decision, and my decision is final. So what happens to your education? I don't know for now. Don't you think your father will not be happy with you if you abandon your education because of the throne? He really wanted you to become a medical doctor. Oh no, well, let me ask you one simple question. Which one is more important, being a medical doctor or to secure the throne and at the same time to secure the culture and tradition of our people? Which one is more important? May the will of the gods be done. Now you come. You say... Exactly. He said I should um, go ahead. Good. But I hope you are aware that you will not perform this ritual or be crowned king if you are not married. Let me a pack of cold food, two glass of water, or small spoon. As it pleases my princess. Oh, my princess. To be honest with you, I don't think you say what about this. You think so? Yes, I do. I mean, he can't possibly want to be the king when his elder brother, I mean, the heir apparent to the throne, is still much alive. It's not possible. You don't know Prince Onyeka very well. Trust me. I can tell you when he is serious and when he's joking. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Yes. You know, I I know he's just trying to do everything possible to save the throne and the royal family. But my problem right now. Is my husband. He has vowed to stop you at all costs. Ha! Huh. That is a big problem. Serious or not? The problem is more than serious. <sighs> so, what are you going to do? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The kitchen door, Nai. Am I not talking to you? Have I not made it clear to you that there will no longer be any food for you in this house except to do what I've asked you to do? This is a very that's this is a specific joke. Are you hearing me? I don't want to hear this rubbish. Please, I am hungry and I need to eat something. Okay? Please give me the kitchen uh, key. Did you come to this house with any kitchen keys when you were leaving your father's house? This is my house and my word is law. Go and do what I asked you to do. Really? Yes. Yeah. Hey, what, 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 what do you think you're doing? What does it look like I am doing? Yeah. Huh? Huh? I can't be starving in this house. And you are here enjoying. Oh, my name. Agnes, mm -hmm. I can take any joke, but not with my bottle of beer. Drop this bottle of beer before I descend on you. I won't. Huh? Oh, Agnes, come on, will you? Come, 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 come back here with my bottle of beer. Uncle, I am here for us to discuss something 
very, very important. Mm. I hope there is no problem at the palace. Uh, not at all. Uh, there is no cause for alarm. I'm, I'm, I'm all ears. Go ahead. Uncle, I have decided to do that which Prince Uzodima has refused to do. Are you sure you understand the weight of what you've just said? Of course, I do, and I'm, I am very serious about it. You see, Uncle, I can't sit back and watch the image of the royal family being dragged to the mud and thereby causing problem to the royal family. <laughs> Hi. Very good. Which means you are no longer that little Onyeka that I used to know. Maturity has set in now. Hey, hey. hey very good news. But there is a little problem. You know, you are still a bachelor. You are not married yet. And you are still grappling with your education. Uh, talking about um, education, uh, that is not a problem at all. The only place I, I would say I see a little problem is the aspect of a wife. But I promise you, Uncle, I will get a wife as soon as possible. Uh, uh, did you mention that to Prisuzo, the Maya brother, or you don't want him to know about it? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I did. I did. Uh, and what did he say? He said he would go to any length to stop me. I said it. This is where the big problem lies. Oh, yes. This is the huddle. Mm. Please, I want you and my daughter to know that stubbornness does not pay anyone any good. Rather, it destroys. What are you saying? Because I'm lost. Please, my son, I want you to reconsider your decision concerning the throne. You can't fight the entire kingdom. Besides, your decision is affecting us negatively. My dear, we stand a chance of being excommunicated if you do not do what you are supposed to do as a prince. On the other hand, my husband has denied me access to my kitchen. He has seized the key to my kitchen he said, I will not eat anything if I did not talk sense into your head. Why would he even do something like that? What sort of question is that? Did you not hear her? I mean, if you had done what is expected of you, will all this thing happen? Will it? Huh. <laughs> ah, life. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Ah. Mama, I beg you, please, when you get back to the house, kindly appeal to my father-in-law to give you the keys to the kitchen. And in the event that he refuses, I want you to see it as one of the sacrifices you have to make as a Christian.
Another sleepless night, my husband. What is really bothering you this time? Chris Onyeka was seen earlier today. What did he come to do? He said he wants to do that which his older brother, Prince Uzadima, refused to do. I, you are not serious, are you? How can I joke with something that is as serious as this? Then there is truth. There is more to this than what we are seeing. Tradition is tradition. Odena na banyo. If a jimala nino. If you lo mena na. Omena na. Omena na. Omena I was told that you wanted to see me. Oh yes, please. I need for us to talk. Please sit down. She wants us to talk. Yes. I hope all is well. Oh yeah. Well, all is well. Please sit. Oh, all right, I'm listening. Well, you would agree with me that um, the past few weeks hasn't been particularly smooth between the both of us. I called you here to let you know that I'm tired of fighting with my brother. I'd like for you and I to shame our enemies and get back to the way we used to be. You know, we used to be this very loving, peaceful, indivisible family. My brother, I, I do not have any problem with you. The only problem we have is your refusal to do what you are supposed to do as the crown prince of this kingdom. Ah, <sighs> Onyeka. As an elder brother and as a crown prince of this kingdom, there are things that I see and know that you do not see and know. Maybe sometimes I come off the wrong way, but I'm just being a protective brother. Since you declared that you would go ahead to perform the blood rituals that I refuse to perform, I haven't been myself. Please. Please. Take that off your mind. So, what do you want me to do? Come on. You already have the answer to that question. My brother, I cannot take back my word. The only way I can take back my word is only when you agree to do the ritual. But if you refuse to do the needful, I will never. Konya, you can reason with me. Please. I am serious here. Since you are not ready to do the needful, I have an appointment to attend. Ah. <sighs> Father, please listen to me. Listen to you. Why? What is your problem? What is your problem? Can't I have peace of mind in my own house again? Eh? I'm sorry to disturb you. I'm just saying that you should give mother her kitchen keys. Why? Give me five reasons out of out of twenty. In fact, one good reason why I should give her the kitchen keys. Because she, she's been complaining of hunger. Eh? And she, she needs to eat to stay alive for you and for me. Eh. Did she not tell you that I said she would never eat any food in this house? 
until you and your husband see reasons and do the right thing. Did she not? Uh -uh. Oh, tell me. Oh, uh, has your husband changed his mind? Not really. But, but what? But what? So you and your husband want to put me into trouble. You want me to just suffer for what I know nothing about. Simply because my daughter is married to the prince. A marriage I never wanted to give my blessing to. But for the insistence of your mother, I have to suffer. If only you had listened to me. I married that, that rich young man, Daniel. I wouldn't be living in this abject poverty. Now, now, now tell me, what, what has the prince done for me since he got married to you? If you had married Daniel, a rich young man, don't you think our lives would have changed? Don't you think I will be a happy man and have peace of mind? Father, please, please, let's not go there again. Then, go in there, pack those foodstuffs you brought for your mother and take them back to the palace. Otherwise, I will destroy all of them. I will destroy them. Huh? I, I, cannot, I cannot come and suffer for, 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 for something, uh, for other man's sin. Mbano. It could happen, I can leave me alone. Pack them and go. Pastor, I tried today to have a conversation with Onyeka. I tried to convince him. I did my best to talk to him, not get involved in that barbaric tradition. But Onyeka did not listen to me. He felt I was talking out of point. Hmm. Something is wrong. I agree. All is not well. Pastor, I think that my brother has been bewitched. Who are you referring to? Us? The elders. The elders. The people who are bent on me. Performing an evil ritual just to become king. Those men can do anything, Pastor. Prince Uzodimba. Let's not think towards that direction for now. You will not blame me. These men can do anything. How else do you explain that my brother, with all of his education and achievements, with all that, of that exposure, with everything that he has achieved in life, he don't want to get himself involved in that devilish act just to become king? It's not right. Something is wrong. I think there's more to that. Pastor, I'm here because I want you to speak to him. I am positive that you, you can convince him. As a matter of fact, you're my last resort. Please, speak to him. Yes. You're my last resort. I talk to him. Yes, talk to him. Tell him not to get involved in that, that ritual. It's ritual. It is devilish. It is dirty. Uh, are you sure he's going to listen to me? You know your brother. You I have faith, Pastor. I have faith that through you, God will touch his heart. Okay. I'll try my best. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, <clears throat> uh, my prince, mm. the world do I owe this August visit, or do I call it royal visitation? I hope I'm right. <laughs> uh, you, you're right. Mm -hmm. um, Mazi, mm -hmm. <coughs> you see, My we goodness. are... Don't forget in the hurry that I with you. Mm. No. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Mazi, mm? our people say that it is good to give honor mm -hmm. to whom honor is due. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And on that note, <coughs> we have come with this. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, oh. Manya Jaupa. <laughs> oh, you are welcome. You are really welcome. I am. <clears throat> but my son, you see, uh, I don't really understand the angle you are coming from. Neither do I know where you are heading to. Uh, but uh, I would like you to, to, just to refresh your statement. Put it in a language that I will understand. I mean, break it in a, a layman language that I will understand. Amazon I mean, Yes, and I will <laughs> You see, there is this beautiful other fruit that we saw. And that other fruit caught our attention. And on the other hand, we also found out that the other fruit belongs to you. It's here. Hmm? Yes. So, you know, as sons of the soil, that is why we have come to declare our interest in making the other fruit ours. Mm. <laughs> you have spoken very, very well. You are a son of the soil. Uh -huh. You have spoken like a son of the soil that you really are. Uh, but if I may ask, who amongst you <coughs> wants to pluck the Udara fruits that you saw? I am the one, Mazi. Ah. Yes. Oh, that is good, my prince. You are the one. That's great. I've had you. But I will have to ask a no no me to meet with my family and deliberate on it. Okay. Then I'll get back to you. Hmm? Why have you decided to punish the people around you? I don't know what you're talking about. My innocent mother is suffering because you have refused to do what is expected of you. If you'll be gracious enough to stop speaking in parables and tell me how I have contributed to your mother's suffering, it would really help. Please speak in a language that I can understand. What have I done? Prince Uzadim, you're very much aware. My father sees my mother's kitchen keys and banned her from eating in the house. My mother is starving in her own house because of you. So now you blame me for your father's action. How? How am I responsible for your mother's ugly fate? Why are you acting as if you do not know what will befall my family if you do not do the right thing? You know my mother played a very important role in convincing my father to give his... Why have you decided to punish the people around you? I don't know what you're talking about. My innocent mother is suffering because you have refused to do what is expected of you. If you'll be gracious enough to stop speaking in parables and tell me how I have contributed to your mother's suffering, it would really help. Please speak in a language that I can understand. What have I done? You're very much aware. My father seized my mother's kitchen keys and banned her from eating in the house. My mother is starving in her own house because of you. So now you blame me for your father's action. 
how. How am I responsible for your mother's ugly fate? Why are you acting as if you do not know what will befall my family if you do not do the right thing? You know my mother played a very important role in convincing my father to give his blessings to our union. And right now, he is using that against her. Those are them. I beg you in the name of whatsoever you respect so much to do what is expected of you so that my father can release my mother's kitchen keys to her and give her access to food in the house. Else, there will be no food for you in this house again. You are threatening me. Call it whatever you like. Chief Udemba, are you sure of what you just said? What kind of question is this? Chief Udemba, they asked you that question for us to be sure of what is going on. So that we know how best we can handle the situation. The prince came to my house to deliver this message. By himself. This is serious. I want you people to go and do everything within your powers to ensure that it does not become the king. No matter the cost, how food the bill. Uh, Chief Ujemba, we have heard what you said. Uh, it is not going to be an easy task. But if you make money available to us, we will come up with a good result. Shobu and I don't know how to do it. I have a problem. What are you Shobu ego? Consider it done. My prince, now I understand why you sounded so urgent on the phone. Kenneth, I want to see you in the village first thing tomorrow morning. Obi Apo Mwoke. I became very worried. <laughs> Kenneth, my good friend. My prince. First, I am sorry for putting you under undue pressure. You see, the situation at hand needed an urgent attention. Well, um, I understand better now. But, but my prince, how come... You didn't, you didn't deem it fit to tell your good friend all that has been happening. Oh, once again, I am sorry. I felt that the situation would be good as soon as possible. I never knew the situation would turn out this way, the way it is right now. <clears throat> it's all right. So you stand a better chance of becoming the king of our land. Oh, yes. Yes. You see, uh, Kenneth, I want to tell you something. I am doing this because of the tradition of the land and for the image of the royal family. Kenneth, as a matter of fact, if my brother wakes up tomorrow and says he wants to be the king, believe me, I will step aside for him. <laughs> My prince, you are you are not complicating the issues. I, I don't understand. So if you step down for him, what becomes the fate of the girl we went to see her people today? My prince, I know you are doing all these things because of our tradition. You can never be crowned the king of our land if you are not married. Kenneth, you're right. Yes, sir, you're right. But I have to tell you something. I love you for man. Even if my brother decides to do the needful, I will still go ahead and get married to a former. Mm. Oh, yes. It's all right. But then one last question. Okay. 
What happens to your education now? Can we not talk about my education for now? Can we not have peace in this palace? Elders, why are you all here again today? The death that will kill a puppy does not allow it to perceive the smell of an excrement. Oh no. Can you not beat about the bush and just hit the nail on the head? Tell us why you're here with this man today. You have two weeks, two weeks to either perform the ritual or have you, the entire royal family, banished from this great kingdom. Great kingdom of Ubuama and Yogo. Oh no. Has it gotten to this level? In here, it's a native egg. And with this native egg, in this clay pot, the palm front, the broom, with them, we shall sweep all of you out of this great kingdom of Ubuama and Yogo. Be warned. Be warned. Only nature did not come Nature Whoever the challenges tradition challenges the gods. My priest, please, don't. I beg you in the name of God, please. God has you all promote evil. Can you people not see the amount of evil that all of you are promoting in this palace? But today, it comes to an end. My prince, please, I beg you, do not attract the wrath of the gods upon yourself. I am not afraid of the gods. For he that is in me is better than he that is in their gods. Let their gods unleash his wrath on me and let me see. This nonsense has to come short. <laughs> what have you done? I don't know what has gotten into our brother. His mind is seriously made up to destroy us. I didn't see the pot and other items when I drove into the compound. That's because our other brother destroyed them and threw them away. What? Yes! He threw them away immediately the elders left. I tried to stop him but he overpowered me. Princess of the man bent on destroying us. Why is he doing all this? I don't know. I don't know. But I believe if you were here, you would have been able to stop him. That's by the way. I went to see the parents of the girl I want to marry. Serious? Yes. Serious. I'll be performing the marital rites in few this time. Prisonika, you are really serious about this? Of course. You know, whenever mm. I set my eyes on doing anything, I go all out to make sure I achieve it. Of course you do.
Quick, quick. Agnes, what are you doing? What does it look like I am doing? Uh -uh. Hmm? As you can see, I am taking my breakfast. In whose house? Have I not warned you that you must not touch or eat anything called food in this house? Oh, Agnes! Oh, you decided to disobey my order. Why? No. I did not disobey your order. Hmm? I'm just taking my breakfast. Hmm? And where did you get this things from? My daughter Nora brought them for me. Hey. Your daughter? Hmm. Of what help is your daughter to me? Your do so your daughter Nora now has the infantry to tell you to disobey my orders. Eh? Of what help is your Nora to me? Look at your partner. Look, look at where you are staying. Dining table. Obsolete chairs. Of what help? Since she got married to the prince, even the stupid prince no way. Okay, if you cannot help me as here apparent and a prince. Now, do the needful thing. Become a king so that at least I will have royal team, my blood. Eh? And you are here drinking tea. I'm not ashamed. That will you if, if you try it, shame on you. No, what are you trying to do? Shame on you. If you try it, I will pour this thing on you. It's no food for you. Go and tell him. Change his mind and do the needful. Let him become the king. Do the rituals. We will become great. Royalty. Are you not ashamed? Your poverty is bad. I am tired of all this nonsense going on. See? Now, what is all this now? Eh? They want him to hear Koro. Who do you want to hear Kabikun? What is all this? What is the meaning of this? Out. You are not allowed into this premises. What do you mean I am not allowed into this premises? Says who? That's an order. Leave before I use my powers on you now. You're talking nonsense. How? What is going on here? My prince, I came to see my friend Nora, but this guard here wouldn't let me in. Why do you want to see her? Nothing really serious, my prince. I only came to pay her a harmless visit. What advice have you given to your friend concerning her husband's refusal to give her the traditional marriage? My prince, the princess said her husband's mind is made up. I tried talking to her. Meaning you've not advised her. You are not a good friend. And your time is not needed here in the house. But Please. my prince, I... Don't say a word. Leave. That? My prince, you know what happened to you if anyone flaunts like others. As it pleases you, my prince. Now move it! Yes, hello? Chief, I have it on a good record that Prince Onyeka is interested in the girl I want to marry. I heard he was there yesterday with his friend to make his intentions known to the girl's father. You mean my own Prince Onyeka? Chief, from the way you sound right now, I can tell you have no idea about this. I'm just hearing it for the first time. Why would the Prince decide to embark on a journey like this without telling you that this is home? Who is now standing in like his own father. I wish I know. Chief, please, I want to tell you to beg him to leave my girl alone. Informa is mine, and I will never allow anyone to take her away from me, not even him, Prince Onyeka. That's the spirit. Listen, fight for what you wish you are right. Eh? You have everything within your powers. To fight and to win Onyeka. How come nobody told me that Prince Onyeka was here with his friend yesterday to see me? Papa, why are you both silent? Ifama, mm -hmm. your father is in the best position to answer that question. 
ask him. Papa? If I, were, I did not tell you because it was not necessary to do so. Huh? Yes. It is not necessary. Papa, a man came here with his friend to ask for my hand in marriage. And you sit down here and tell me that it is not necessary. Ah! If I were, just calm down. Why, why, why? Why must she come down? Allah out to rant. Talk to me. Talk to me the way you like. Now, listen. You must not marry Prince Onyeka. Mike is the man for you, and that is final. Papa, Papa, I will never marry that man. I will never marry him, Papa. No. I will marry him, and I will try it. You will never marry him. No, no, okay. That's all right. We shall see. I will also I go mile. You will never, never in this house. Mama, maybe, maybe. I left everything I was doing as soon as I received your call. I hope all is well. All is definitely not well, Prince Onyeka. I have a reliable information that you have vowed to perform the very ritual which your elder brother, Prince Uzodema, refused to perform. The information you got is absolutely correct. But I still do not understand why you gave me such an urgent call because of this. As a pastor and a very close friend of the royal family, it is my duty to ensure that I guide you rightly on issues like this. What you are about to do is wrong. It is wrong before the eyes of the church and before God. Pastor, do we have to go over this all the time? If I had known that this is why you called me, believe me, Pastor, I wouldn't have been here. Prison. Why will a Christian like you allow these people to manipulate you into this? What you're about to do is wrong, is very wrong. The church frowns seriously at it. Pastor, this has nothing to do with the church. This is purely culture and tradition of our people. It baffles me how we got to this point. Tell me, Pastor, how can we throw away our beautiful custom and tradition because the white man told us that it's barbaric? What is barbaric about the tradition of our land? Tell me. Answer the question. What is barbaric about it? A harmless tradition. A harmless ritual. That gives us the platform by which we choose our king that is void of evil. The king that will rule us in truth and in justice, Pastor. Pastor. Before I became a Christian, I was first a man of Obama in your global kingdom. A man that believes so much in tradition and culture of our people. If the white man has vowed to protect his religion with everything he has got, I, Prince Unyeka, has vowed to uphold the custom and tradition. Of my people. Tradition is tradition. Ordinana banyo. If a jimalanyo. If you know menana. My love. Who is your love? Why are you calling me your love? I have warned you times with that number that I am not your love. And I will ev never ever be your love. Uh, calm down. Am I the only beautiful girl in this town? Calm down now. Why don't you let me have peace of mind? Calm down your voice. You're embarrassing me. Embarrassing you. Oh, you have not an embarrassment yet. Well, what is wrong with you? Am I the only beautiful girl in this kingdom? Why would you let me have peace of mind? What did I do to Calm you? Calm down now. Eh? I know you too well you're not the only girl in this village. But it is you that my heart beats for. Tell your heart to stop beating for me. Because it will keep on beating until it falls off or breaks off completely. What is wrong with you? I am in love with somebody else. I don't love you. So stop disturbing me. Don't you dare leave your beauty hands on me ever again. The very next time you will try to leave your hands on me, you will regret what I did to you. Useless man. 
Ifoma, you're missing a lot. Oh. Come, let's go. You're missing a lot. Be a kangwagi something. Eh? I don't like this, your attitude. Please. Your simple love, you cannot love someone. You are mine, don't worry. <coughs> My fellow elders, I think uh, the best thing to do is to allow Chief Udemba, the younger brother of the late king, to perform the ritual and become the king. Ukono, <coughs> why must you say such a thing? Did you hear what Ono said concerning um, Prince Onyaka? Uh, oh. <laughs> I know we all have the right to say whatever we like and to think in any way we want. But the fact remains there that we have tradition. <laughs> I'm gonna go like she, she, she. 